Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? Huh. For some time now, the organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. Private bonds with their value guaranteed by the reputation and considerable resources of my employer. It's a more uh, civilized way of doing things. Until every cutthroat and gutter trash got their filthy hands on them. It cannot be allowed to continue. The value of Capitale depends on a certain exclusivity. Understand? Come. I don't know how much you have heard of our ambitious new senator, Anton Ricard. He's an officious, naive man who has yet to learn how politics work. About his grand plans to make Lemoyne the star of the next year's state fair in Sacramento. He has also been making life very difficult for us. Come on. Ah, excuse me for a moment. Oh, forgive me, Signor. I thought we'd be meeting alone. Who is this? He was just arrested by one of my men in the old quarter. I thought you might be interested to see what they found in his possession. How did you come by this? You stole it, yes? No, no. Please, Senor. Senor Martelli. Do not speak I, my name, I, Porco. I found it. I swear to you, I On did. On your knees. I did. I found it. I did. On your knees. I swear to you. No, no, please. I... Where did you steal it? I, I promise you that I didn't steal it. I will ask you only one more time. Where did you steal it? From some of the Cornwalls, boys. Le Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. I trust this man will face the full penalty of the law. Most assuredly, Signor. Good. Proceed. Was there uh, anything else? No, I think that was enough, don't you? Yes, sir. So, to my proposition. You will find bills like that one as far from here as New Austin, if you know where to look. I need every piece of Capitale taken out of circulation and returned to me. I warn you, some of this work will require a strong constitution. In return, I will reward you with a unique business opportunity involving our friend, the Senator Ricard. But that is for later. I wish to see the quality of your work before I reveal my hand. I'm sure you understand. Now, it is best we do not meet again. All further communication will be through my intermediaries. Some of them are friends of yours already. I believe Mr. Foreman, Mr. Langton. In any case, bring them enough capitale to impress me, and I assure you, it will be worth your while. Now, if you excuse me, buona caccia. Some new jobs lined up. Capital A2, if you're lucky. Got a new opportunity. Might even be some Capital A involved. Jeb Phelps. You ever heard of him? Old time crook. I used to run with him once. He stabbed my back, I stabbed his, no hard feelings. Seems my old friend is up to his neck in it. Him and his gang been sitting on a whole bunch of capital, eh? That was mistake number one. Mistake number two? He let the rest of his gang turn him in in exchange for a full pardon and a stack of bills. I suggest you find Jeb. Play the Good Samaritan. Won't be long before he takes you to what you need.
Get me out of here.
my cabin. See you back around, eh? Looking for work? New opportunity come up. Good money, too. Maybe even some capitale. Well, of all the folks I'd expect to be working alongside, Jeb Phelps was about bottom of the list. Yeah, remember, Jeb's only useful for one thing, the location of his old gang stash. To that end, and no further, we will assist him. One of his former associates is holed up near Butcher Creek. Bring him to Jeb, whatever it takes. You leave the interrogating to him. Take any capitale for yourself. Adios now.
untie me, and, and we'll forget all about it. all about those goddamn capitale, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit! So, you're in the hunt for business? Sure, I struggled to hold on to a dollar, let alone bloody Capitale. Well, my friend, if you ever found yourself wondering what the end of the road looks like, uh, you're about to get a good look at it, courtesy of your friend Jeb Phelps. Uh, this boy's determined to go out with a bang. Last scene, headed up towards Arnsburg with the law on his tail. I'd say he could use a hand, wouldn't you? But now, listen. Don't be going soft on him. A friend in need and all that. But business comes first. And our business is that old stash of his. Money, capitale, you name it, it'll be there. Now, it's possible this lifelong deceiver and miscreant will choose to share it with you. Out of the kindness of his heart. But if I were you, I'd have a backup plan. For when push comes to, uh, shoot. <laughs>
cat idiot. You know that? Now we got every lawman for ten miles crawling up our asses. We got the cat. My old friend Billy didn't let me down. The stash is up at the fort. He did get a little fuzzy after a while, but I reckon he done us right. Ah, only one snag. Some nasty old relics from the war got themselves holed up there. Now, these boys are crazy, but that don't mean they can't shoot. We gotta clean them out. Don't worry. <laughs> this will be fun. One more thing. I'm gonna need you to take the lead on this one. One of them bastards back there landed a shot on me. That's why I was buying low back there. I'll, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Just a little short of breath. Let's just get this done. Come on, crazy! Right here! Hey, boy. Stand to attention while I shoot you. Back into the goddamn frying pan. We gotta hold them off. This you know how many of your buddies I killed today?
Hello there. 